Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farrant channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine the most profitable dual mining pair at the moment, Nexa and Alethium. So for the past two days guys, Alethium has been holding the top spot for the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine. So if you're not aware of Alethium, uh, Alethium is a dual mineable cryptocurrency, uh, very, very similar to the uh, coins that we've seen uh, in the past, such as like Zilliqa uh, and even Tong coin. That's not even a uh, dual mineable, you know, at the moment. So what I'm going to be doing guys in this video is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can dual mine Alethium with Nexa. And I'll be showing you guys exactly how you can set your bat files up with BZ Miner. So assuming that you already have yourself a Nexa wallet already set up, go ahead and take yourself over to the GitHub that I'll leave in the description so you can grab yourself an Alethium wallet. So for myself, for this instance here, I'm going to go ahead and press on the Windows and go ahead and download that. And then all you need to do, guys, is just go ahead and go through the simple uh, installation process and make sure that you go ahead and record and save your CD somewhere safe. Then once that's actually gone ahead and done, it'll look a little something just like this and then all you need to do is just click on your account and then log into there and then you'll be able to go through and grab yourself a wallet address so for myself for this instance sake don't know me on password and there we are okay so we're in the wallet then all you need to do is just go to your addresses and then create yourself uh, a next in a leaf uh, you know address so all you need is just a new address so I'll just press generate new address just call it mining press generate then once you've generated that go ahead and copy that to the clipboard and we'll use that a little bit later on and then now guys all you need to do is take yourself over to BZ miner and then go ahead and press on the download option there then once this is downloaded what we're going to do guys we're going to take this over to the desktop and we'll drag and drop this onto the desktop and we'll go ahead and set up the bat files Okay, so once downloaded, open it up, and then all you're going to need to do, guys, is just go ahead and then drag and drop this straight to your desktop. Now, because I already have this on my desktop, it is going to say that the summer files, you know, are already there. So let's just go ahead and open this up. Now, as you can see in the folder, you can see that there already is a few bat files already set up for yourself, ready to go. So if we take ourselves over to the etc underscore elithium. If we take a little look over at this bat file, we can actually go ahead and change this for our Nexa and Lithium, you know, choices. So if, if I just go ahead and close these off, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go back and grab our Lithium wallet address. So let's go ahead and press copy. But for myself, I'm just going to grab this one. And for the one one ones, is going to be for your Lithium wallet. And then for the zero zero zeros is going to be for your Nexa address. So all you need to do is just make sure that you grab yourself your Nexa wallet, and then get the paste into there. And then what we're going to do for the algorithm, for instead of etc hash, we're going to go ahead and put Nexa into there. Alethium's already set up for ourselves. Now for this instance sake as well, guys, I'm going to be using Woolly Pool for the pool. So if you just go ahead and press on the pool right there, and then if we scroll down, press on connection. And because I'm in the Europe, I'm going to go ahead and copy onto this one. And then if we go ahead and then we paste this into here. There we go. Perfect. Make sure you keep the Stratum plus TCP because that will be needed to make sure that this runs. Now, assuming that everything is set up in here fine, you can go ahead and rename this. And then go ahead and press save as. And then just change that to Nexa. And then just to make sure, dot bat. So I've gone ahead and done this. If now if we take ourselves back over to the folder, and then we go ahead and we look, we should have a new bat file that's made. Now what I'm gonna do is close off my uh, current instance that I've got going at the moment. And then now, if I double click on this, we should now be successfully mining uh, Nexa and Alethium at the same time. So as I say, guys, this is showing to be the most profitable pair at the moment right now. So uh, 
jump onto it while you can. I've you know mined these type of cryptocurrencies before in the past, such as like Ton, uh, and it really, really made uh, the last few ends of the Ethereum mining extremely profitable. So, you know, sometimes dual mining can be really, really profitable if you look into it right, held up the coin, hold the coins, and sell them, uh, you know, at the, at the correct time. Um, so as you can see there, we've already started to uh, receive some um, Alethium uh, accepted shares and some Nexa accepted shares. So like I say, guys, you can go ahead and take yourself over to your pool and then you're able to go ahead and type in your Nexa address. And then also the exact same thing as well for your Alethium pool as well. Okay, guys, so there you have it. You should be now successfully mining to Woolly Pooly for Nexa and to the Metapool for your Alethium. Make sure if that if you did take anything from this and you did learn anything, then make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell because I'll make sure to update you guys on whatever the new profitable coin is to mine and also exactly how to mine it so you can get yourself set up as quick as you can do instead of trying to figure out how to set these bet files up yourself. Right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.